When it comes to healthy snacks, I love hummus. Not only is it the perfect dip, but it's delicious in sandwiches and wraps and a variety of other recipes. So today I've partnered with Vitamix to show you how easy it is to make your own homemade hummus so that you never have to buy it from the store again. Let's dive in. I make this hummus from canned organic chickpeas as it's faster, but if you'd like to soak fresh chickpeas overnight, that's fine as well. The important thing is to strain the chickpeas and keep the leftover liquid, which is also known as aquafaba, because we'll use that again in a little bit. So add both cans of chickpeas to your blender along with a half a cup of tahini. If you've never used tahini before, it's simply ground sesame seeds, but it adds that wonderful creamy and nutty flavor to hummus. After that, you'll add the juice of two fresh lemons, and I just squeeze these through my hands to catch the seeds. When it comes to adding garlic, I find that two cloves gives you your basic hummus flavor. But if you'd like a more garlicky hummus, of course, feel free to add more. And the great thing is you don't have to mince the cloves. Just peel them and toss them in the blender. Next, you'll add a quarter cup of olive oil, a teaspoon of cumin, and a pinch or two of kosher salt. Lastly, add some of that reserved aquafaba. I start with a third of a cup, but if you'd like a thinner consistency, feel free to add more. Then blend it all together and use the tamper to push the hummus into the blades, just as you would in making a nut butter. About 30 seconds later, you'll have super smooth and creamy hummus. Place a few spoonfuls of the hummus onto a plate and use the back of your spoon to create a little swoosh or well in the hummus. Then drizzle a little olive oil and sprinkle paprika and fresh parsley. After you taste this, I think you'll agree that it's the most delicious hummus and one that I'm sure you'll make again and again. Thanks guys for watching. I hope you liked this video and if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button below so you don't miss next week's video.